Welcome to the third installment of this video series where we'll explain all the changes that are arriving to the game. As you know, we recently announced that Raiders of the Broken Planet is now called Space Lords, and it is free to play. But today we'll focus on the new advancement system, the new rewards and features. And to that end, I have Juan right here with me from the Mercury Steam Design Team. Hello, Juan. Hello. Well, let's start with the new advancement system. But as it is quite extensive, we're going to go step by step. Okay, let's explain the narrative advancement. From now on, the missions will unlock on a different way. Now that all players have access to all campaigns, all missions and all content in Space Lords, they start playing one campaign for the first time, uh, progressing through it in a linear fashion and unraveling the story. And upon completing it, uh, they will decide which campaign to play next, until they complete all four campaigns the game has for now. They will also find some of the more advanced missions have minimum level requirements to access it, or maybe demand you obtain a certain score to access the next one and progress through the story. Players who previously owned one campaign before all these changes will, of course, have all missions unlocked and playable from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. And what will become of the solo mode? Uh, we've changed the name of Solo Mode and now it's called Training Mode. Uh, players will be able to practice with new characters and master the mission's mechanics. But to access that, they first need to earn some medals. Uh, for each successful mission they play online, they will obtain a medal. Uh, once they get five medals for one mission, we will unlock Training Mode for that mission. But there is one more feature to enjoy the adventures. As the players progress through the missions, they will unlock the mission's prologue and epilogue that they could watch again in the new cutscene mode, uh, where we can select each cinematic scene and watch it again offline uh, without anyone skipping it. Let's now talk about the new reward system. How does it work? The adventure mode, uh, that grid featuring all the missions over the broken planet, will have a whole new dimension. Now each mission includes some extra rewards the players will be able to claim. Uh, you select a mission, uh, play through it and get the reward. You will notice a countdown that indicates the time you must wait for a new reward to appear. Uh, this is the way you unlock new blueprints, uh, extra gold rewards, etc. This is the new way to obtain special new rewards like blueprints. Uh, now we won't find a given blueprint in a mission attached to a certain probability to drop. Uh, if a player wishes a new blueprint, they just need to select a mission with a special blueprint reward and after completing it, they will always have the chance to get a blueprint for the character they have played it with. Once the blueprint appears, there will still be a draw, but this draw is individual. Uh, you won't compete with other players for the prize. Great. And finally, we also have news regarding the affinity, right? Yes. The blueprints we were referring to before uh, won't require affinity to a raider or antagonist to be built anymore. We will be able to build any blueprint we obtain independently of our affinity. On top of that, uh, we have also introduced a little change to the antagonist mode. From now on, players won't be able to play as antagonists until they have attained a certain level. Uh, we think that the experience of playing against an antagonist in Raider's core, and it is interesting and unique, but playing as the antagonist requires a bit more understanding of the game. Uh, we want the players to be more experienced as Raiders before throwing in their lot as antagonists. Perfect. Thank you so much, Juan, for explaining everything about the new advancement and reward system. We hope you have found this video interesting, and if you have any further question or doubt, you can ask us through social media. As always, see you on the Broken Planet. Bye.